something to look at. You, there should be in your state a single state agency that handles the burn JAG funds, um, and that would be the organization to call. Um, I know that in our state, in Iowa, we have our burn JAG uh, RFP has already been out. The grants are already in, so our grant the grant is closed for at least for now um, for this year. But that might be some place to look for funding um, to help help law enforcement get the tools they need. The other thing that I would recommend is to look for, um, if you're not engaged with your local prevention agency, whether it's substance abuse or child abuse, that might be another place to go. They may already have materials that can be used. Um, in many cases, professionals um, in prevention are willing to um, do presentations for groups, um, for specific target audiences, and to help them learn about an issue like drug-endangered children, um, to help them learn about the, um, you know, the rapid response and, and things like that. And that's one of the ways to really use a prevention professional um, is to help create awareness and, and build the knowledge base of the community at large about this issue. Thanks, Becky. And, um, and I'm sure most of you in the audience know this already anyway, but um, sort of the best place to go, the kind of central clearinghouse for, for grant opportunities um, uh, coming from the federal government anyway, is uh, grants.gov um, mm -hmm. and the Community Oriented Policing mm -hmm. Services yes. Office, the COPS office, um, yes. which is also a department in the, in the or a division in the Department of Justice. Um, they post their grant opportunities up there. We do, as a service on our website at National Deck, um, we have a funding opportunities page, um, and we try to post uh, the opportunities that we come across um, in grants.gov and other, and other grant searching that we do that we think um, would have particular appeal to, uh, to our constituents, to, to, the, to the practitioners across the, 